What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Epic Worldwide chat or the Epic Worldwide players and you can get one of these free. You can also get another one for free with the objectives which we'll cover in another video. I've already covered it I think in the news and the weekly update video if you want to check that out. But you do have a selection here of Drogba, Burkamp and Cassius. Now these are free players, right? So you will get one of these for free, okay? So we're going to cover all of these players and give a training guide for the best ones. We are going to start with Didier Drogba before we open our pack to finish this off. Now the one thing I will say about Drogba is a lot of people kind of sleep on Drogba because he's not fast, right? And his balance is so weak. But I think you're probably using him wrong if you're struggling with that, right? You can see his jumping, physical contact, finishing, heading, and offensive awareness is really high. He does have a B rating as a legend card, and he does have long ranger, heading, long range shooting, first time shot, one touch pass, aerial superiority, and fighting spirit. But he does have standard form. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are looking to train him up, right? Now, in terms of training him up, We've got a very good version of him here where he's a 96 rated player, okay? Now, I think that you can go 97 with him and yeah, you can and the max overall will be a little bit higher. But I think this is probably the best build of him and I will do a little tweak into this as well to show you exactly why I'm training him the way I'm training him, right? Because the first thing that you're going to notice with Drogba is his acceleration. That's not going to be past the 80 mark, even if you pop 13 into dexterity and his speed, yes, you can get it. I mean, if we like bring this guy back down to level one, okay? And we've got 29 levels to go. You can pretty much max out everything, right? So this is the sign of a good player. You can max out his offensive awareness, his shooting, if you throw everything into that, 19 points. You can also max out his jump, his physical contact, and his header. So he's an extremely well-balanced player. But you're not going to be able to turn him into Romario or Mbappe. Or one of those run and gun, one-touch pass, you know, kind of like really mobile center forwards, okay? So you do need to kind of pick exactly how you play him. Obviously, people that watch my Road to Glory will know how much uh, I love playing with Collar. And Drogba looks like he could be very similar to that. He's obviously not as tall, but I would definitely be training Drogba up with this build if you're looking for something a little different, right? I'd pop 8 into aerial strength. Once I get to 75 dexterity, which brings my offensive awareness up to 93, I'm happy enough with that because with the boost, we're going to get that to 95. We're going to get that to 77. And I'm also going to bring this up, the speed and the stamina up to about 74, 75 as well dribbling i'm not too concerned with once i get to the 75 mark with the tight possession and the ball control at 76 pretty happy with that to get over the 75 threshold passing and shooting obviously i'm going to pop in a couple into shooting so once you go to eight on the finishing it's probably a little bit overkill but you still have 10 points left now this is where you need to choose what type of player that you want drogba to be because even at this he's still a very dominant in the air threat I personally would probably pop in a few more into his aerial strength or else you could potentially pop in a few more into this. So if you go four on this goalkeeper stat here, it's going to give you plus four onto his jump, which brings it up to 94 without having to waste any more points um, on his aerial strength because his header, his jump and his physical contact is enough at that. If you wanted to go that route, you could have physical contact, jump and header all into the 90, you know, three, 95 and 96 zone. But I would probably go with that, right? I would go physical contact a little bit there. I would go 8 with the aerial strength, as I said. I would probably pump in a few more to get his jump up to 94 to get that little mark there. And then I have still have two left over where I can throw in. Now, for me, personally, I would probably take one from this or take two from this and go in there and then take one more from that and go one more into dexterity to have 78 acceleration, 96 offensive awareness, 92 header, 94 jump, 93 physical contact and 88 finishing. I think this is a demon build for him. If you're looking for more, uh, you know, kind of like on the ground stuff, you could take all of these away and you could take this. You're still going to have 88 header. You're going to have 89 physical contact. I would also leave out the finishing a little if you wanted that 88, but I would take the dribbling one and that gives you one more stat into that that it unlocks that one there and then put one more into lower body. So that's two examples where you have 81 and 99 offensive awareness if you wanted to go that route. Obviously, when you go that route, there's no room for developing the offensive awareness, but you're taking all the risk out of having to depend on that. So you could go at 98 with 80 acceleration and then put the rest into that if you wanted to go 90 jump. So there's a lot of ways of training him. I think he's a very unique player. I wouldn't be playing him as an on-the-ground player. I'd be playing him as his in-air ability. So that is where I would go with him. Let me know what you think of Drogba, lads. I think he's a beast. I definitely would like, like to get him on my free spin, and hopefully we do, but we will hold a free spin while we review the rest of these players and do training guides. Let me know who you want to see up next, and that is it for me.